Hey everybody, Justice Good here, and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create tape in Photoshop. So, I'm going to start out with a background of just a wood frame texture. I'll add a link to this specific texture that I used in the description box, but you can use a solid color or anything you want as the background. So, then I'm going to go ahead and drag my desired picture in. And Photoshop will try to smart place it, which makes it really large, so I'm going to tr drag it down a little bit and add a little bit of tilt to it, like I just pasted the picture up with my own hands, so it's not perfectly straight. Now what I want to do is position it where I want, right click on that layer and select blending options, and just add a stroke to it. For the position, let's select inside, and the color, I'm going to choose white. You can really do whatever color you want. Now we can begin making our tape. So on a new layer, let's go ahead and select the polygonal lasso tool, and make sure it's set to new selection with zero pixel feather. So now we're going to draw the general shape of a small piece of tape and make sure at the edges you add these little jagged edges by going up and down like a small little triangles once you're happy with that extend it all the way back down and create these same jagged points for your bottom you don't want to make them look too perfect or too sharp because that will look kind of silly so now let's ahead right click and fill that with 50% gray. So we have a gray color in the shape of a piece of tape. That doesn't look anything realistic right now, so go ahead and grab the dodge tool. With the range set to midtones and the exposure at 50, let's add a few highlights. You can use the size the brush size or any type of setting here that you want. I'm just going to use this 16 size brush and just add a small amount of highlights. Try to keep the edges highlighted rather than the middle. And once you're happy with that, head over to the burn tool so we can make a little bit of shadows. Again, you can play around with the brush size and the exposure amount to get your own desired effect. So now we're just going to add a few little shadow spots near the middle and on the tears. Once you're happy with that, go ahead and set the opacity of this layer to somewhere around 30%. Whatever looks good on your specific background. And as you can see, it creates that transparent tape effect. Now at this point, you can go ahead and do this for every other position in your photo. But for the sake of showing you the final effect, I'm going to just duplicate mine and transform it around the whole picture, which you can do also if you don't feel like creating a new tape for every section. And your final effect should look something like that. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.